For the past year, the Ministry of Education has been working with Telefonica Foundation and La Caixa Foundation with the support of the OAS to finalize the Profitura for today's official launch. The program seeks to narrow the education gap by providing quality digital education for students of 11 participating schools. It has been some hard work, over, especially over the past months, as we prepared two weeks of training for some of our personnel minister and uh, person and the two coaches that will support schools in Belize district and in the Cayo district. These are the 11 schools due to the guide that was given to us as to which schools we can use, wanting some of them to be in rural areas and some of them to be in hardship areas. So in, in putting all these together, we came up together with the district education centers, a list of 11 schools for us to start the program with. The Pro Futuro education solution focuses on the teacher community as the key factor for educational transformation. The program was launched globally in 2016 and since then Pro Futuro has signed agreements with over 60 partners. The OAS welcomes this collaboration, particularly that it will make learning more exciting and relevant to our students while developing applicable ICT solutions to everyday challenges. In this connection, the Pro Futura program will complement the existing efforts of the Ministry of Education by expanding digital education through the provision of hardware that includes tablets, laptops, and projectors, as well as deliver digital content in math, English, and life skills to impact 11 schools with a combined enrollment of over 3,000 students in two major districts. Today's launch signifies a partnership that aims to improve education, promote inclusiveness in the use of accessible ICTs, and empower teachers and students with skills to change along with changing times. Active learning leads to innovation. Technologies represent an opportunity to transit, to transit from purely transmission-based teaching models to active learning models. We need to prepare our students to learn how to learn, to be passionate about learning new things, to be more autonomous and to create sustainable solutions to the challenge their communities face. Reporting for News 5, Hippolyta Novello.